Recently, some investment firms have come out and said that this could be a lost decade for the S&P 500. Here's what that means and what you can do about it. Research has shown that playing the long game typically pays off in investing, with only about 0.1% of investors losing money when they had a 20-year investment horizon. But the chances of your returns being flat or even negative over a 10-year period are not exactly zero. A fairly recent example of this would be the 2000s decade, which started off with the dot-com bubble and ended with the global financial crisis. Over that 10-year period, stocks finished down about 1%. And with the challenges that we're seeing geopolitically as well as economically globally, firms like Vanguard, Stiefel, and Bank of America have come out and said that this decade for the S&P 500 could deliver lower than average returns. All right, so let's talk about what you can do with this information. First off, we all have to remember that no one really actually knows what's going to happen with the stock market. Throughout the entire history of the U.S. stock market, there have been smart people with convincing arguments as to why stocks won't go up. Sometimes they've been right, sometimes they've been wrong, but no one actually really knows, especially over a period of 10 years. Second, we have to remember that S&P 500 index funds and ETFs are not the only investments out there. Large cap US stocks are not the only investment you can own, and stocks are not the only asset class you can own. We have real estate, we have commodities, we have digital assets, we have international stocks. And third, even though past performance doesn't guarantee future returns, we can definitely learn a lot from history. Like I mentioned in the beginning, thinking in terms of decades literally puts the odds on your side. And I'm willing to think that the U.S. will still be here 20 years from now. Share this with a friend and follow for more.